Hi guys and welcome to today's video. It's been a couple of weeks since I uploaded a video. I've been away in America and I got back about three days ago now and I'm finally starting to get over that jet lag. I felt very sort of foggy for a couple of days but I've got back into my sleep routine fairly quickly. I had a fabulous trip and I'm going to talk about that more in other videos that I'm going to do. Probably my everyday makeup videos because I took a little bit of footage and I'll show you some of where I went when I was over there. But today's video is all about Chanel Holiday. Now I am late to the game. New Zealand didn't get this until the 28th of October and that was the day that I flew out. So I thought I would pick some up in America. Now when I went through duty free in New Zealand before the departure, before I left, I went to the Chanel counter and they had some of the Chanel holiday there. So I saved quite a bit of money. I was quite surprised that Chanel holiday was there. They didn't have all of it, but they did have the eyeshadow and they also had the highlighter as well. Now I do want to pick up at least two of the three nail polishes because I love Chanel nail polishes. I also want to pick up one of the Lextray lipsticks. There is the lightest one and is it called Brute Beige or Beige Brute or something like that? And I thought that would just be quite a flat, pale brown. Now, when I was in America at a Chanel shop, I think it was in Dallas. I, yes, I think it was in Dallas. And Liz, who was with me, Liz from Chicago Law Luxury Makeup, she swatched it on her hand and it looked like it had the tiniest bit of pink in it as well. So now I'm thinking I'm going to pick up that one. There was also the lip lax, but I'm not really interested in those. I've seen some videos on the Chanel holiday and I don't really like the look of them. And there's tons of videos out there already that have showcased this gorgeous Chanel collection. So today I won't be doing any comparisons. As I said, I am late to the game with this and there are a whole lot of videos out there if you want to see comparisons. Now I did give this a little try yesterday and I'm going to do the same look today. I'm not going to use a lot of the black eyeshadow that's in there. I'm going to keep this as a very wearable look. I love the formula of it. And the highlighter is what I thought it would be. It is quite sparkly and it reminds me of one of the oversized highlighters that I got. The white one, I think it's pearly white. I got that in the chain design. And that is the same. There is quite a bit of fallout and it is quite sparkly. But in saying that, if you go very lightly, which I'm going to do today, it does give a really beautiful look. So even though I tried these yesterday, I've still got them. I put them back in their boxes. I think the packaging is really lovely. And I love it that Chanel came out with a quint for the holiday. It's a little bit different and it does look really beautiful. Now I also took photos of these in natural light. If I remember while I'm editing this I will pop it up here so you can take a look but as I was saying this has been out for a while now and you've probably seen a ton of photos so the different shaped eyeshadow palette and it has the velvet pouch and the gold Chanel logo on the front and inside is just one brush. It has a sponge on one side and there's a little brush on the other. Now I do use these little applicators that come with these eyeshadow palettes sometimes. I didn't use it yesterday. I may use it today, I'll just see. It has a really generous size mirror in it and that's because of the five shadows across so it makes it more of a rectangle shape. And I really like the layout of this palette. So here it is, and I think the color story of this is really beautiful. Now, I know a few other brands have done similar color stories, but I think this is really gorgeous. And as I was saying, I really love the formula of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just swatch this on the back of my hand so you can take a look. So these shades are swatched from left to right. These are a beautiful formula. Black especially has a sparkle in it. And the last one, the white, and it's more like a topper. And you can get a little bit of fallout. You just have to go quite easy with it. But I do think this is a really beautiful color story. 
So you might be wondering why, well Maria, if you were in the States, why didn't you pick up the Lex Dre when you saw it? But our dollar is quite weak against the US dollar. So by the time I do the exchange rate, it comes out about the same or even possibly a little bit more. So I got to see a few items and what I'll do is I'll just give my SA a call at the Chanel Boutique in Auckland and like I said, I'll order at least a couple of those nail polishes and the Lex Stray as well, that lightest one in the beige. So today I'm going to use the Chanel brushes. I didn't use them yesterday. Yesterday I used a mixture of Sonia G and Rafa, but I will use the Chanel brushes today. So yesterday what I did is I started off with this shade here. And when I was doing it, I was thinking, oh, maybe I should have started off with this one. But I find with shades like this is that if, with mature eyes, if you tend to layer and layer them, that's when you can get your texture emphasized a bit. Whereas the way that I did it yesterday when I finished the look, I thought it looked really beautiful and didn't emphasize texture. So I'm going to do exactly what I did yesterday. And I don't know whether I used all the shades or not. I might have used nearly them all apart from this one here. So I'm going to start off with the shade here. I'm going to use the fluffy end of the brush and I'll just go fairly easy because I didn't use these brushes yesterday so not quite sure how much product they will deposit on. So I just took this all over the eye. I took it through the crease and just slightly above as well. Now with the black shade, I'm not using that in the outer corner and sweeping it up to get a super smoky look. I'm going to use it today as a liner on my top lash and possibly the lower lash as well. So as I was saying, I am nearly over the jet lag now. The day that I'm filming this video in New Zealand is on a Friday. I arrived back on the Tuesday. I left LA on, it was Sunday evening, about half past eight at night. And then I ended up back in New Zealand Tuesday morning at six o'clock in the morning. I slept really well on the plane. I was absolutely <laughs> exhausted. I had a fabulous trip, but it was super busy. And then you have jet lag as well and then you're racing around, and then finally it just sort of all caught up. And I normally don't sleep very well on a plane. Now, I was lucky enough to be in business class, so you do lie down flat on a bed, and it is really comfy, but I still don't tend to sleep that well. When I went from Auckland to LA, I sort of dozed a little bit, but didn't sleep that well. But on the way back, I think I would have slept all up ended up being about a 12 hour flight and I probably would have slept a good probably six hours of that so for me that is a really good sleep you know flying on a plane I don't for some reason just don't tend to sleep that well I think it's because I can get quite hot I'm quite a hot sleeper and it can get really warm but didn't have any problems with the flight back whatsoever. So that's the first shade. It blends out really beautifully. It blends out beautifully with these brushes as well as of course the other ones. Like I said I used yesterday the Rafa and the Sonia G. So I'm just going to buff it out a little bit there. Go over there again because I just want to soften out the edges. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video this is just going to be a very wearable look. You can definitely get a bold look with this palette but I just want to show it to you guys just giving a very just a very simple everyday look. Now I'm going to stay with this shade and I'm going to add a little bit more to the outer corner because I'm not going to use the black in the outer corner so I'm just going to take a more dense brush I think what I might do is just flip over to the other end. The other end is a little bit more dense. Just take it back into that shade and just pack a little bit more in the outer corner just so that I get a little bit more depth. Then I'm going to use the Chanel 201 and I'm staying with the same shade still. I'm going to run this under my lower lash line 
So I'll just put a little bit on the end of the brush and just sweep it through. Now I did forget to say that of course I've got all my base makeup on but the foundation that I'm wearing today when I do a Chanel video I normally wear a Chanel foundation but I'm just trialing out a new one this is about the third time I've worn it it isn't new it's new to me and I picked it up at the Sephora sale in America and I think it gives a really beautiful finish but I've got everything that I've put on my face today I will have listed and linked in the description box below foundation gives I built it up initially it's more like a light medium and I've built it up to a medium and I think it gives a really beautiful finish so I've just wiped down that brush I was just using to put some on my lower lash line and then I'm gonna go into this shade here just pack it into the brush and I'm going to put that through here and towards the center and then I'm also just going to take a little bit just what's left on the brush just up through here and then I've just flipped the brush over and now going into the black shade there is a little bit of sparkle in here when I used it yesterday I just wanted to see really mainly with the shade because it has tiny bits of glitter in it and sometimes that can irritate my eyes but I didn't find that it irritated my eyes at all. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of that darker shade just through here, just in the outer part. And then I'm going to use this shade just to give some definition just to my upper lash line. So I am gonna grab another brush for that. This is one of my Chukahoto brushes. It is small and dense, but still really soft. And it just gives me more precise application. So I'm just gonna push that black shadow just in the upper lash line. Now I'm just gonna take the applicator that came with this palette and I'm gonna go into this shade here. So you can get a little bit of fallout with this. So by using a sponge, you get less. And I'm only gonna use a small amount and I'm just putting it just in here just in the in a corner just through here it just gives that little bit of extra lightness and I quite like how that went on with the sponge and I'm just having a look it doesn't seem like I got any fallout so I'm going to put a little bit of this on the lower lash line as well I'm going to the very end of the sponge and just pop a little bit through here so I think that looks really pretty so now off camera I'm just gonna put on some mascara and then when I come back I'll put on some blush and we'll take a look at the highlighter and I didn't use a Chanel mascara because I have a backup of my absolute favorite the Chanel volume but I've got about three or four mascaras open in front of me and I really want to get through those before I open up a brand new Chanel Le Volume. The one that I'm wearing, I really like. It's one that I had a backup of and it was sitting in my drawer for ages and I thought, well, I better use it. It's a Charlotte Tilbury one and I really like it. I think it's a great mascara. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't transfer and it is buildable and I think it gives a really good look to the lashes. So for the blush today, before I get to the highlighter, I'm going to use the mauve one that came out in fall by Chanel. I think this is a really beautiful blush and I'm gonna use a Chanel brush to pop this on. I'm not gonna put on too much. I wanna keep this look, I wanna keep it fairly light. So now let's take a look at the highlighter. This is the Duo Lumiere. And I don't think I said what the name was for the eyeshadow quad. I've still got a bit of a jet lag brain. It is Lumiere Graphique. But I'm sure you knew that. As I said, there's a ton of videos out already. So still got it in packaging, even though I used it yesterday. Sometimes, especially with Chanel, I tend to keep 
the box that it came in for quite a while. I'm not quite sure why I do that. And then after a couple of months or so, I decide to get rid of them. So this has a brush that comes with it in a separate little pouch. I'll show you the brush. It is quite a decent size and it probably would do a pretty good, actually I might use this today. I don't think I really use them very much. So I'm gonna use this today to put on this highlighter. The highlighter is absolutely beautiful. I think the embossing on it is gorgeous and already around here you can see a tiny bit of fallout. Again, I took a photo of this in natural light and I will pop it up here if I remember so you can take a look at it. Really lovely. And I'll also swatch this on the back of my hand so you can take a look. And I'm going to put it underneath the eyeshadow swatches. So that is the top part of the highlighter here. And this is the bottom. So you can see, even though it looks quite light in the pan, it definitely isn't as white as that shadow from the eyeshadow. And this sort of almost has like a peachy tone. So I'm going to go in very lightly with this. There tends to be a little bit of fallout and it really is, it's, they call it the Lumiere. It's more than just an illumination. I think this is a true highlight. But you say I went in very softly. I used a Sony G brush and I thought it looked really pretty. You just gotta go in quite lightly. So I'm just going to tap into the top shade and a little bit in the bottom as well. And just, just brush in. So even just going in that lightly, you get quite, quite a decent amount of highlight. And then yesterday I also buffed it in a little bit as well. So if you pop some on and you think it may be a little bit too much, you can take another brush and buff it in. But I think it looks really pretty. It is one because it is quite a bright highlight that your texture does get emphasized a little bit. So if you're not comfortable with your texture being emphasized, then you may not like this one. And the other thing to do is keep, so I've got wrinkles all through here, got crow's feet here. Sometimes when, especially with a subtle liquid highlight, I can put it through here and it really doesn't emphasize them at all. But with this, I definitely keep it away from the lines and just through here. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm just gonna do the other side first and then I will grab a brush. I'll do both sides just using this brush so you can have a look. And then I'll just go over a little bit with one of my Sonia G buffing brushes and just try and buff it out a little bit. So again, just very lightly tapping between the two. And I'm hardly, hardly touching my cheekbone with this brush. So that's what it's like before I buff it out. I've just used a very small amount. You've got to go, well for me, I have to go very lightly with it. I do think it is pretty. It's just not with me one that I would wear, I would reach for for my everyday makeup. I think the eyeshadow is perfect just for wearing throughout the day. It would also look beautiful in the evening as well. And I think the highlight, I would probably save this one more for the evening. So I'm just going to take a Sonia G brush. I just need to find it. It's one of the buffing ones. So this is the Sonia G, this is the buffer. Now she has the other one that has the blue handle as well. And I normally keep that one in a small little makeup bag in my handbag because these brushes are fantastic. If I go out and I need to just, just add some pressed powder, if I'm starting to shine a little bit, this is the brush that I use to sweep in the pressed powder that I have with me and just sweep it over my face. So it does buff out a little bit, but you, 
it is still quite shiny. I'll just go over the other side as well. So it has buffed out a little bit and I think it does look really pretty. Now for lipstick, I've just grabbed one of the Chanel Coco Flash ones. I haven't actually reached for this for quite a while. It's a very simple, it's a nude color and it is the shade Dawn. So here is the finished look. And I think it is really pretty. This is the same eye look that I did yesterday when I had a little play with the eyeshadow and I think it's very beautiful. I would go out with this. I don't think it's too much. And as long as you don't layer the shadows too much, I don't think it emphasizes my texture. The color story is really beautiful. The only shade that I haven't used yet, I didn't use it yesterday, so I didn't use it today. I'm just taking the little brush out, the applicator, is the shade here. And I think this one together with that shade, this shade is probably my favorite out of the palette. It's gorgeous. I think these two together would be really beautiful. I think you could get a really gorgeous smoky look with this. And I will do that at some stage. Whether I do a video on it using a smoky look, I'm not too sure. But I'll definitely be playing around with it myself because I think it is lovely. I love the shade here. As I said, it reminds me of that pearly white highlighter. And you can also just pop your finger in if you want and just tap it all over the eye. I think that would be really beautiful as well. And even though this has the sparkle in it, the black shade, I can wear this very close to my lash line instead of an eyeliner. I do have sensitive eyes and I don't find that it irritates my eyes at all. I think it is a really beautiful color story. Now with the highlighter, I do think it is really beautiful. It's a bit more of a highlight than I would normally wear. Now some people love to wear this all the time. As I was saying, this is probably more of an evening look for me. I just very lightly tapped that brush in and then very lightly tapped on my cheekbones and you do get a decent amount of highlight. Now I also think, I haven't tried it yet, but I also think that you'll put a shadow on your eyes and use, just try either color or both as well. And I think it could look really gorgeous on the eyes. Now I did buff out a little bit using that Sonia G brush. It just smoothed it out a bit and I think the look is really lovely. It's not that I wouldn't go out during the day wearing this. I would. It's just not something I do for my everyday type of makeup. It's not something I really reach for. I tend to use something more like that new Chanel Sublimage liquid highlighter that is super subtle. I did a dedicated video on that and I have been using it a lot. That is something I definitely use for my everyday makeup. I took it with me when I went overseas to the States and I wore it at least a couple of times while I was there. It's just, just super subtle, just gives this very slight twinkle and just makes your skin look it's a little bit glowy, but then you don't get these sort of light beams on your cheekbones. But this I would wear in the evening. I think it is really lovely. You just gotta go in very lightly. And as I said, I try and stay away when I've got a highlighter like this, that I try and stay away from the wrinkles under my eyes and the crow feet through here because it does tend to emphasize texture. But I am pleased that I picked it up. I love buying the Chanel collections and I am pleased to have it in my collection. I think it is a really lovely addition. So even though New Zealand was late getting this collection, so I was late getting the video to you, like I said, when we got it, that was the day that I left for the States. But I'm glad I didn't get through my essay because as I was saying at the beginning of the video, it was a really nice surprise that this was available duty-free in New Zealand. So I got it quite a bit cheaper than I would have if I'd ordered through my essay and definitely cheaper 
then if I'd picked it up in the United States. So I was really lucky to be able to get it duty free. So now I'm going to be doing a couple more videos after this one and those will probably go up before this video I think. I want to show you what I got at Sephora in the United States and also a few other items that I picked up. But that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.